Check out where Carlos Alcaraz is standing to play out this practice singles point. If you copy this every once in a while, it's going to help you win more points. Now, first, this video is courtesy of Sandrado Plays Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I've put his link in the description below. Now, when we think of where we should stand in singles when serving, we typically think close to the center. But when you do that over and over again, a couple things happen. First, the types of serves that you can hit are pretty predictable, and your opponent can kind of get used to them. It can also limit the kind of angles that you can create as if you stand farther out wide. Now, you should not be standing out here all the time, but every once in a while, think of it as once per set, I want you to try standing farther out. And when you do this, it helps you to serve farther out wide, whether you're standing here or standing here. And we'll see with Alcaraz, he's actually hitting a topspin serve, and he hits it out wide, and that pulls Rublev way off the court. Now, whenever I make a video on this topic or talk to someone about this, they always say, oh, Ryan, you get those Twitter warriors who go, oh, Ryan, oh, I would just crush the ball down the line. Really? Well, Rublev isn't, and there's a reason why. Even though it seems like this area is wide open, it really messes with the opponent's head because the angle of the ball coming in is a lot different than what they're used to. So what they typically do is they pull this ball back or they mess it like cross court back right to you or they screw up the down the line. They either hit it long or in the net or wide. And even if they do manage to get it down the line, it tends to be more here which after you serve, you can always just move over and it's so much easier. So I don't want you to think that standing this far out wide is simply going to allow them to just rip a winner because it certainly doesn't. One thing that you'll notice when you stand this far out wide is that your opponent most likely does not counter by standing farther out wide themselves. They should because that way they're bisecting the out wide and the down the tee. And what they'll end up doing is they'll be standing where they typically do, which opens up the out wide. This is especially effective if you're a lefty on the ad side or a righty on the do side. This angle that you can create allows you to actually hit more aces. But another thing happens. When you serve from out wide, the ball comes in at an angle that your opponent is simply not used to dealing with. Then when they end up hitting the ball, they end up hitting the ball right back to you. You'll see Alcaraz, he doesn't even move. He just hits the ball out wide and he stays. He is not even moving over to try to bisect the down the line or cross court and to stand halfway between. He knows where this ball is going and he ends up just ripping it up the line and look how he follows it up to the net. I want you to try this, not 100% of the time, not 50% of the time. Try doing this even just once per set and watch how effective it is. Now, when you do hit into the open court, make sure you follow it up like Alcarez to make sure that you win the point. Now, before I draw this up on the big board, I want you to get a copy of the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. Over 50 pages of strategy after strategy to help you beat your toughest opponents. Each page and strategy comes with a QR code explaining exactly how to use this. Just hold your phone or tablet up over that code and up pops a video of Will Hamilton from Fuzzy Yellow Balls showing you exactly how to use each strategy. You can get the singles playbook using my link. It's in the description. I'm also going to pin it in the first comment. This thing is awesome. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for the website Play Your Court, and it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. Typically, we think in singles that we're going to stand close to the center. And yes, it gives us, you know, equidistant, you know, opportunity to get the ball that goes down the line or across court on the return. But every once in a while, I want you to stand, and what I recommend is maybe once a set, whether it's on the do side or add side, it doesn't matter. Stand farther out wide. Here's what happens. First, most likely your opponent doesn't move, and I mean this. If you go out here, they should go over here a little bit just to bisect where you can hit the ball. But I want you to watch how often they don't. They actually stay exactly where they typically do. And what does that give you? It gives you the opportunity to hit a quite an easy ace or a much easier ace out wide. Another thing that happens is this seems wide open. 
And what ends up happening is they see the ball coming to them and they think, oh, this is so easy. And they hit the net, they hit the ball out, they hit the ball wide. And it's almost like you're winning two or three points just in one because they are missing what seems to be an incredibly easy target. But the reason they're missing it is because the ball is coming in at a different angle than it normally does. So they're having to kind of ricochet with a different angle what they normally do and they will miss it. Even though it seems wide open and it seems counterintuitive, I'm sure I'll have some Twitter warriors in the, base, in the uh, comment section telling me, oh Ryan, if you did that against me, I would just rip it up the line. It would be an easy winner all day long. Really? Really? Then why didn't Rublev do it, uh, do it in that point? Why was it so easy for the ball actually just to go right back to Alcaraz and he hit it down the middle? So don't think that the ball is just going to be ripped down the line on you. And I, I mean this, I want you to stand farther out wide. If you'd like, you can just move over a little bit afterward, but give your opponent a completely different look and watch what happens. You will win, I'm willing to bet, a higher percentage of these points where you stand out wide, as long as you do it sparingly, once or twice a match, than just standing in the middle all the time. You start adding this to your tennis singles strategy, and there's no doubt you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.